Okay, so one thing I really like about this strain is its its upliftingness. Is this is what I really end up looking for, especially when it comes to creativity, like wanting to sit there and sing or draw or you know whatever your passion is. As far as, far as you know, being creative and stuff, it kind of it sparks that. On top of a happiness too, as long as you don't get you know stuck into a uh, procrastination lull or something or like get caught up in videos and shit uh, or enable actually do something so yeah we're gonna we got we got some right here and I know it doesn't want to zoom right being whatever so uh, oh and it's like this thing seems to move here move it back I want to make sure I keep everything charging because if I don't, everything will die on me because my batteries don't want to hold the charge much. Uh, a few years of, of stuff, it just it gets that way. Um, even with this being shaken as much and buds and stuff, and I'm finding it to be very sticky. Now I end up cleaning out my bowl like. It looks like it's yellowed. I thought it was tar, but it's actually just yellow glass. And because, you know, I went over it with uh, acetone, so, yeah, it's clean. It's, it's definitely clean. I cleaned the, my other one out, too, which that one's clear. Um, that didn't take much. I mean, there's quite a bit of stuff on it, but I've been finding uh, just with the bat. A little dugout one hitter it's uh clogging up i'm having to clean it out already after like three or four and it's wanting to stick around to the rim it's just it gets really sticky there's a lot a lot of trichomes oh but yeah and it has a it has a really nice orange flavor you know, with being tangerine haze, <clears throat> you have that, I don't know, it's it's very heady, it's very heady, it's, it, it starts off, I mean, there, there's a body comfort and stuff that comes along with it, but that comes after the headiness, like you can feel it in your skull, like, you know, that what a good sativa will do. Ooh, that was a little off. Yeah, we're just gonna keep that in there and not put that in a blooper reel. Corvusio almost burns his fucking finger off. That's why I'm kind of I'm using this too because it's taking a little bit to get everything kind of fired up, right? smoke's good. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what the light, the way the light is. Let me try that again, because if I didn't see it on, I didn't see it on the camera. I saw it from here. I didn't see it right there, though. <coughs> it is a bit harsh on the lungs. <coughs> like I said, it's all them, all them little crystals, and it don't take a lot for me, because like I said, I'm, it's not really that I'm a lightweight, I just, it does, doesn't take a lot, and, I don't know, which I'm glad, because it was the other way around, it was taking a whole lot, but that was because of, uh, the, uh, fake stuff, which I don't do anymore, that ended up messing with my, my receptors, I guess, to the point that weed wouldn't even do anything. 
Um, everyone else would be high and I couldn't feel anything. So it's still taking me a while to not really get my tolerance back. But it's like to get it back to to build forward to bring it back down. Because I've been noticing the more that I smoke and the longer I go on smoking, uh, the better it starts to feel back to how I used to. Like it's like my brain's healing itself, repairing, repairing the things that's going on <coughs> back to where it was. I like this. <coughs> uh, I use this because <coughs> you show this here. Uh, I just took one of the containers that I had left over. This one being one of the the eighths of the rim that I got, <coughs> and I just it already had some holes in it because we were doing a little thing with music and and. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I wonder how loud that was. I forgot this is here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I put holes and stuff. There was already holes and stuff in the bottom. We were making just like a little vibrating thing, you know, for vocals and the music and stuff coming out of the speaker. Anyway, yeah, I decided to use this stuff, so I just got a piece of a uh, uh, dryer sheet and and worked it into a a circular pattern thing and shove that down in the bottom of it and it filters out the smell uh not you know i'm, I'm able to uh ooh, fingers a little moist uh or tender i mean <coughs> uh what was i going oh yeah uh well we are allowed to smoke in the house, which is cool. Uh, as long as the window's open and the incense and stuff is going, which has always not been an issue, except for some of the good stuff that I've been getting here lately, and the, and the smell of it's been causing a complaint that, that the house smells like a dispensary. <laughs> So, yeah, this cuts down. I haven't had a single complaint since. It's just like, I probably have to change out the dry sheet here in a few days or so. Uh, it's interesting too, because it's just the blowing out of the smoke and the color, the color change. And it's just, it's displeasing in two different ways. One, that I'm putting that stuff in my body, and two, that it's wasted coming out and it's not staying in there like it probably should a little while longer so <laughs> two ways of looking at it but no it really it really helps uh, as far as cutting down on your on your smoke it just smells like you've been doing laundry honestly the heat of the smoke kind of activates the the stuff in the laundry dryer sheet just like it does when it's in the dryer you know because it's smoke and as it's blowing out it's still smoke but it's just in my case gain scented smoke so wonderful haven't had an issue complaint or so not not worried about it anymore but i'm going to end up playing uh Nova Legacy here in a little bit. I only got through like the first level area, which has like the three little level things. I'm not putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. However, I do go on there every day and get my Buku's of crates that they give for free. And been making sure and just upgrading my stuff. I've got a few, a few rare weapons and starting off the game that way. 
So it might be pretty. It might be pretty interesting. Uh, probably gonna end up doing that live just so I don't have to worry about transferring over and recording. And I was told, if anyone's still watching, I was told that all you guys want to see is just me lighting this up and smoking it. So, I have a question for you. I mean, is this just lighting up and let me light up some more anyway? It's also a little bit of a muffler. <coughs> so I mean, is this is this already? Would you like to know more about the strain before I end up doing a strain strain review, where I can talk about the THC levels and what it's good for and what the you know if you have an ailment. Like, if you suffer from back pain, or if you suffer from arthritis, if this is going to be a good strain for you to deal with your, your back pain or arthritis. Or if you're suffering from, sort of from depression, and, and you want to know, hey, this strain is a good, good, good remedy and stuff for depression. It helped perk you right up and, and pick you up. Do you guys want to know that kind of things, or do you guys just want to watch me smoke? And, or, you know... Leave a comment in the in below. I you know, I'd like to know. I'd like to know what my audience wants to see. So, I mean, some feedback. It's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, short little twelve minute video. I'm not even gonna add the rest of the stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and post this straight up as is.